Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we will understand about one more annotation provided by the Jackson library that is JSON property. So this annotation JSON property is used to define the mapping between the properties present in our JSON object and the fields present in our POJO class. So for example, in a normal uh, scenario, what happens when we convert any of our Java object into the JSON? The fields which we uh, define in the Java object are same as the property uh, given in the JSON which is generated from that Java object. So in uh, the previous examples also we have seen that when we try to convert this employee object into a JSON string, we got a response JSON like this. So uh, here you can see uh, whatever fields which we have defined in our employee POJO, the same fields are appearing in our response JSON. Okay. But this scenario is not always valid. Sometimes the name of the properties in the JSON are different from the field names which we use in our POJO. So at that time, we used the JSON property annotation to define our mappings. So let's see one example. So I will be using the same code which we have used in earlier example for the Jackson library. So here we have uh, the employee POJO. It has first name, last name, designation and age and appeal. So let's see, uh, uh, we can use the annotation JSON property over here. And what we will do is we want that the JSON which will be generated from this POJO class should be having role instead of designation. We have imported the required classes. Now let's again try to generate JSON for this Java object. We will move to the object to JSON class. Now that let's run it. So this is our generated uh, JSON. Now you can see uh, instead of designation we are getting rule as a field name over here. So what we did over here is we mapped the designation field of our employee POJO with the property role in the JSON. So this is the use for the JSON property annotation. And we also verified uh, by converting our employee object into the JSON string. Now let's see uh, means what will be the impact of this property when we are trying to convert a JSON string into the Java object. So we have this code where we are trying to convert the JSON string which we have saved in the employee.json file. And now we will try to convert this JSON file into the Java object. Okay. So we have employee.json and we also have an employee list.json. So this is the conversion uh, we are doing in this file. This code I have already explained in one of my earlier videos. You can refer the same. So let's try to run it. So here we are getting this exception. Let's just go through what this exception says. This exception says that unrecognized field designation. Okay. So our code is not able to recognize the field designation in our input JSON. Okay. So why this is happening? Because in employee uh, 
वो जो वी हैव डिफाइन दैट द प्रॉपर्टी नेम विल बी रोल एंड नॉट डेजिग्नेशन नो वट वी विल डू इज वी विल जस्ट चेंज दिस डेजिग्नेशन टू रोल Okay, the same thing we will do in this employee list or JSON also. Let's save it, and now we will run this code. You know, we are getting the output. so here you can see now we are printing the our employee object over here so now even though we have changed the field name in the json but still we are getting inside the our java object we are getting designation only so there is no change in the java object which we are creating change is only at the json end where we have changed the property name from designation to the root so this is how we use this json property annotation to basically map the fields in our uh, java pojo class with the fields or the properties in the json so i hope uh, by this example you will get the understanding of how we can use this json property annotation i request you to please like my video and subscribe to the channel thank you